everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and welcome back to another Legends of Arcus tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 ways to catch alpha Pokemon. By the way, you can also apply these methods in this video to regular Pokemon, which are actually a lot more easier than the alphas. So if you're excited about this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It, it takes a second to hit subscribe. Seriously, just, just do it right now. Did you do it? Okay, let's start. All right, so for the first Pokemon that we're going to be interacting with, we're going to be doing Ursaring and we're going to be going over the basics of how to catch alpha Pokemon. I think this is a great one. And for the first way of catching it, it's simply what I'm doing right now, hiding in the grass. If you exit the grass, you can see that the shading around the screen changes. But the moment you enter it, you're able to move around in the grass and approach Pokemon very easily in order to try to get a catch. So I'm just going to see what we can do here. Just, just, just go from behind. Boom. Right from the grass, no one notices me, except baby Teddy Ursa. Oh, and get out. The next method that we're gonna be doing is the berry method. So all you're gonna do is throw a berry and you're gonna see how it goes from orange to yellow, which indicates that it is easier to catch now. So it is enjoying it eating. And then when it stops eating, it goes back to orange. So you wanna make sure to catch it while it is in its other state. But you know, it's, sometimes you get lucky and you catch it just like that. But that's pretty much what you got to do. Throw a berry and go for a backstrike. So Earthstring also has its preferences of food. If you go to the menu, you can see that it likes mushrooms. It likes those grains and it likes beans. That's the preferred foods of it. If I was to throw that out, just like right now, you can see that, oh, he's looking at it and he's starting to eat it and it goes to the right color. And you have a small amount of time to actually throw your ball. Oh, it's eating. And it's a higher catch rate than earlier. And there you go. We just got it. We're 10 out of 10 on the earth ring. Looking good. Actually, it's always 10 out of 10 because I keep resetting the game to show these examples. Now, the next item that I'm going to be using is known as a grain cake. Now, you can craft these cakes in your inventory if you go to the everyday items here. And I hit craft. In the menu, they have these things known as mushroom cake, honey cake, grain cake, bean cake, and salt cake. So this is basically taking Pokemon's favorite foods, which are like the beans, the crunchy salt, the mushrooms, honey, all those things, and combining it with this cake lore base that you can buy from the shop. And when you mix them together, you will end up getting these cakes. The recipe for these can be bought from the recipe guy in town, which I will show you guys in the video. So in this case for Ursaring, I got a green cake because it's great at attracting Pokemon that dwell and wander in the fields. And Ursaring to me just looks like a Pokemon that likes to wander in the field. So we're going to see how it does over here. So I'm just going to bring it pretty close. Um, hopefully the other little teddy bears don't run up on it as fast as he can get on it. They're oh, yeah, he's way faster. Okay, so look at his look at that. It goes from yellow to green, so he's easy to catch. You want to get it from the back strike, preferably over the front. But if it's green, it's pretty much very easy to catch. That ball barely moved, and that is the technique on how to do it with the cake. So the easiest way and the highest percentage is with its special cake, or it that's that's the highest tier food. Before that. The next tier foods are going to be berries and the preference food of their choice. And now you know four ways already on how to catch alpha Pokemon pretty easily. If you're looking for specialty cakes in the game to make the Pokemon's favorite food, they are all like 1k each. So it's not too bad to get all the salt cake, bean cake, grain cake, and honey cake. So go ahead, go to this guy. This guy's very important. You need to go here in order to get these OP items. So don't ignore Anvin in the village the next couple examples that we're going to be using is going to be on garchomp which is the hardest alpha pokemon in the game so get ready for this because this is going to be intense and i needed to do the hardest alpha pokemon in the game because it's going to help with a lot of examples and if you can do it on garchomp you can pretty much do it on any pokemon let's just go ahead and start so the first thing that you know is when you battle an alpha pokemon you can just simply battle them so garchomp's gonna yell i just throw a pokeball into the fight Okay, he's not coming at me. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There we go, and we're getting into fight. Uh, Garchomp might murder our Lucario here. It's going to murder our Lucario. Not looking too good here. Oh, we're not doing anything to Garchomp, huh? Little Agile style, do some damage, and then we'll go into a regular Psycho Cut. All right, Garchomp is now stunned. Once we do happen to get it on low health, 
Haunter's my last Pokemon, by the way. I'm gonna hopefully be able to catch this thing once it's low health. It's got it's got paralysis on it. So this should be an easy catch. All right. And that's how to catch Alpha Garchomp via battle, but it's very slow. And as you can see, it kind of killed my whole team. Not saying that my team was the very best to battle the Garchomp, but I'm just putting it out there. Most normal scenarios, this Garchomp is going to destroy a lot of your Pokemon in battle, especially this one. This one's really tough. If you're in a situation where there's no grass and you're in front of a Pokemon, what you want to do is start using some smoke bombs to lay that cover. As you can see, my four corners of the screen are empty, but the second I throw my smoke bomb, you can see how they now have gotten a little more darker. It's, it's almost like it's signifying you're in grass or trying to copy like you're in cover. So smoke bombs act like grass, okay? So you can approach a, an alpha Pokemon very simple by just making a little straight beeline towards it. Of course, this is Alpha Garchomp here, which is the hardest one in the game. But look how easy we're able just to get right in front of its face. Just like that. And then from here, we can probably get a sneaky sneaky with a gigaton ball or an ultra ball whatever your choice is and maybe we can get the catch here it has a lower catch rate though but we got it there you go you can come from the back and hit it with uh hit it, <laughs> hit it from the back with the with the with the ball pokeball now you have an item in the game called stealth spray and it says when used in the field this spray muffles the sound of your footsteps and makes wild pokemon less likely to notice you for a short time all right, for this example, I'm not using any stealth spray, and I'm going to try to get behind it. And you can see that this is not going to be as easy. Let's see. Can we actually make it behind Garchomp? This is a great example of sneaking up on a Pokemon and hitting it from the back with a back strike, which, which is a bonus on capturing it, and, and it worked. Okay, this is going to be Stealth Spray with running. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, boy. Yes, we got it. <laughs> so Stealth Spray completely works when you're trying to run up on it. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Straight up, they don't even hear you. Look at this. Even this gimbal doesn't notice me. What? Stealth Spray is broken. So Stealth Spray is like sneaky fast. Okay, we're going to try running up to this guard chomp at full speed. And as you can see, he noticed <laughs> you cannot run up on him when you don't have smoke screens. Or if you don't have Stealth Spray. But yeah, you cannot run up on it with st without Stealth Spray. It only works with Stealth Spray. You can do it crouching down, but you can't do it without the Stealth Spray. So if you're approaching a Pokemon, crouching down and approaching them slowly is pretty much equal to running with Stealth Spray. If that makes sense from this little experiment we just did. Okay, so for this technique, we're going to be using some early game items. It's called the... I call it the early game stun. It's when you use items like Spoiled Apricorns, Balls of Mud or snowballs that all equal the same amount of stun power to weaken a Pokemon like Garchomp. So right now, Garchomp seems to be a little glitched out here, which actually works out for us. So we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, fifteen, and he's weak. So then what you want to do is go from behind with whatever Pokeball you have and throw it at him. This is an early game stun. And as you can see, we caught the guard chomp and it cost us about 15 little stuff. And those things are very easy to get. You can find a bunch of balls of muds in the Crimson Mirelands. If you go all over the ice area, you'll be able to get snowballs. And spoiled apricorns can be found in any tree that has an apricorn. When you hit it, it has a chance of dropping a spoiled apricorn. But that's pretty much how you do the early game stun technique. The next one that we're going to be using is the sticky glob. Sticky Globs are a recipe that can be bought in the town from the guy who sells crafting recipes. These crafting recipes start showing up as you rank up your progression throughout the game. And in order to craft a Sticky Glob, you're going to need one ball of mud, one spoiled apricorn, and one caster fern. Once you do that, you're able to make a Sticky Glob. So it's going to be about four to five Sticky Globs. Usually it's four that works for me. Sometimes you'll maybe might mess up or throw too early, so it might be five. So here's one, two, three... Four. Okay, one more here. Five. All right, and guard jump is now pretty, 
stunned. So I'm just going to go ahead, throw a Pokeball over here. And as you can see, two yellow lines up. Oh, and I missed. So if you do happen to miss and not get it, it's going to probably just cost you two consecutive ones afterwards. So one, two, and it's stunned again. There you go. So you use two sticky gloves after you missed the first time. So I'm going to try to go here and hit it with the Ultra Ball from the back for that back strike. And there you go. We got Garchomp using this method as well. So now you know if you were to fail when you do the first four Sticky Globs, it's only going to cost you about two Sticky Globs afterwards. So that is the Sticky Glob technique. Very useful and very OP. I mean, and if you just use it on a regular Pokemon like this, it's literally just one and they're done. Obviously, th throw the Pokemon at the Pokemon. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the Sticky Glob technique. The best one in the game, in my opinion, to farm anything you want. All right, so now you all are experts on catching all types of Pokemon in the game. If you can catch an Alpha Pokemon using any one of these methods, preferably, you know, the Sticky Glob. That, I just love that one. That's just straight run up on them and catch them. But you're going to need the other ways just in case a Pokemon's requirements in their decks are going to be to use their favorite food or to sneak up on them or not be seen. So you got to kind of master all of them. So that's why I showed you them in this video. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, leave a like button and hit that subscribe button somewhere on the bottom. It, it, it literally takes a second and then you'll know when my YouTube video is live and hit the notification bell that's somewhere around this video as well please do. It helps the channel out a lot and you'll know when there's a nice banger video out for you guys to watch. My name is Philly Beats You and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a good one, and don't let any Pokemon kill you while you're playing the game. All right, take care.